and uh, I'm hearing that there is potentially an incident out there on circuit. Oh, there's oh, no. Oh, oh it's oh, bad! So we're on our way to Wilton Mill for the third round of the Wilton Mill Kart Club Championship. I'm racing with the best kart team in the UK, DHR, Dan Holland Racing. They're based at Wilton Mill, so it's their home track. The setup is gonna be brilliant. The kart is gonna be like nothing I've ever experienced. And I can't wait to get out for the practice day today. Join me on this little journey. I'll show you everything I can from inside the team. And let's have a good weekend. Let's go. Good morning guys, we're here in DHR workshop, just getting the cart prepped, I say no, I'm not doing anything, Brad's doing everything over here, Brad Shepard my mechanic, um, but it's pretty much ready to go for the day, so I'll keep you updated as we go, and uh, I hope Alpha Live gets some good footage that I can borrow as well. See you at the first race. We are good to go then for the first heat in Senior Max, eight minutes plus one lap. Hoping for a clean start here, good start for Catherine White. She will lead into turn one for the first time. Big move and there's a little bit of contact further back in the field. I think uh, Johnny Elliott might be one of, one of the drivers involved. Oh, and Phil Pott's made up two places uh, already up into fourth. Coming into the boot now. Well, he's looking very strong at the moment. Oh, and uh, Dunford's got past uh, Philpot, so what, what is now third place? But all of a sudden, Chris, we've now got a five-card battle at the front, because here on the scene now, you've got Carl Dunford and Bradley Philpot. Side by side between Phil Pot. Oh, wow. Bradley Philpot round the outside of Carl Dunford. A great overtake there. That Showing like all that experience. He's up to four. That looked like another little communication there, and experience is absolutely right. He knows how to manage traffic. He is a, a double VLN class champion, so he knows what it takes to, to get through a pack. Tommy Edmonds takes the first heat in Senior Max of the day. Jaden Neil Holder fights through to second place. Catherine White will be classified in third place. Bradley Philpott and Carl Dunford is your top five. Okay, so uh, race one debrief. Managed to get up to fourth, drop back to fifth, uh, and then at the end it bunched up a bit and I managed to overtake, get back to fourth. So last race here, I would have been really happy with that. I was actually a bit disappointed with that this time. So I think with everything right, if we um, make a few adjustments on the cart, we should be able to have the pace of the people who were in the top three there. We were pretty close to them at the end, but it's just like one or two tenths. So the good news is we're not looking for massive jumps, so pretty happy with that. Now we've got two 21st place starts, so let's see how we go. And I think we are underway here. We are indeed four seven minutes plus one lap, but it's looking like a clean start here in Senior Max. Bradley Phil Potts, the last of those across the line of the lead lap. The exhaust um, broke. So I lost a load of power and um, basically just fell backwards all the way back probably to last place of the finishers. 
I finished anyway, even though we were losing four seconds a lap or something. And we picked up some places from some DNFs of other people. Um, but it didn't go well. That, that, that has really harmed our final starting position. We're ready to go then. Final third heat of the day. Four senior max away. We go for five minutes plus one lap. Oh, Spins gets turned around. Oh, a bit of carnage down at Christmas. And that is Rob Ellis. That's your championship leader facing the wrong way. There goes Brad Philpott in another 13 car. You can tell it's a final heat. Yeah. Everyone is really going for it now. Archie Elliott is going to take a fantastic victory here in the final race uh, of the heats for Senior Max ahead of Alex Bentley. Harrison Crook holds on for third. Bradley Philpot in the top 10 there in eighth. Third heat was good. We started um, 20th and then finished eighth. So good, uh, good third heat that hopefully has salvaged a, a respectable starting position for the final. Uh, and I'm looking forward to going and seeing what we can do. See if we can get into the top five. So uh, I don't know where we're going to start. I'll find out soon. They've been quite slow at bringing out the results. So um, I'll let you know and wish me luck. Here we go. We're away and racing though for eight minutes plus one lap. Good start for Tommy Edmonds. Decisive chop across the front of the field. He will lead on the run up to Christmas Corner for the first time in this one. Oh, here's a move from Brandon Haight, trying wow. to attack Tommy Edmonds. Tommy Edmonds gives him space. And down the inside, side by side. Oh my goodness me, and here comes Elliott as well. The 3-1, they're nearly four wide. The top three covered by 0 0.02 of a second. Look at that, it was two thousandths of a second covering the top three. Seven, seven thousand, uh, hundredths covering the top four. It's not long in this race to go considering it's a final and everybody's up for this. And uh, I'm hearing that there is potentially an incident out there on circuit. Carlton, but it's coming to the pit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh it's dear. Brad. It's uh, Brad Philpott. It's Bradley Philpott. He's, he's okay, which is the good news. He's walking away. Looking a little, a little bit shaken, as he would be rolling a cart and well, a shrug of the shoulders yeah. there that's a real shame for Bradley because he's raced fantastically today another driver who deserved a good result in a final well, it's really scary when you see a cart roll over as well I'm just glad he's okay hey guys so as you probably saw on the um on the alpha live tv footage that ended spectacularly wasn't quite what we were aiming for but um, the good news is we were kind of catching, catching up with that leading pack and I think we were on for a pretty good result until I got unceremoniously flipped out of the race. First roll I've ever had in my racing life, which is quite a long, long run at this point. Cart looks okay, Brad here is just stripping it down at the end of the day, but I don't actually think anything's bent. I think the worst that's happened is my nice brand new race suit it has a few holes in it and lots of grass stains. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this, it's been exciting. Hopefully we'll get to do some more because it's been really cool being with great team thanks to everyone um brad here looking after me and um keeping the cart working and fast and the guys at dhr so until next time thanks for watching bye bye